Hi, this is Hassan Korani. In this video, we are going to continue our chapter about equations of straight lines for grade 10. There are uh, two points uh, to be learned in this video. The first is how can we determine an equation of a straight line? And the second is how can we transform equation of straight line uh, from one form to another, from the reduced to standard to parametric and vice versa. The first point is how can we determine an equation of a straight line. We are going to see how to determine equation of a straight line in different cases according to the given. In the first case, first example, we are given a straight line that passes through two given points A and B. As you see from this figure, the coordinates of A and B are known, are given, and we are asked to find a standard equation of the straight line AB. We are going to do this in two methods. Well, uh, from the beginning, I want you, when, when you see this pause, I think, please pause this video and try to answer the question on a sheet. And then after that, uh, compare your answer with the given solution. First method uh, is based on considering the uh, general form of standard equation, which is ux plus dy plus w equal to zero. Now, as you know, uh, the general form of coordinates of standard equation are a minus v u and minus v u. And uh, here we have to think about a direction direction vector for this straight line. As you see, you can notice that a b vector a b is itself a direction vector for the straight line. And the coordinates of A and B are known, so the coordinates of the vector AB itself can be easily determined by XB minus XA, YB minus YA. And this is a direction vector of AB. Why I'm saying a direction vector? You may think about BA itself. BA is also a direction vector. But at the end, you'll get uh, the same result, maybe with uh, a little change in sign if you consider BA, but both are true solutions. So in this case, as this vector is a direction vector and we are working in standard equations, so we look at this as minus V U, as you know. Thus, this is U, the value of U will be minus 4, and the value of minus V is 1. Minus V is 1, so V is minus 1. Plugging these values in the standard form to get minus 4x minus y plus w equal to 0. Now, in order to find the value of w, we need values of x and y. What x and y represent? What do x and y represent for the equation in the equation of a straight line? As you know, x and y represent the coordinates of any point on the straight line. Uh, here we have uh, two points. You may replace uh, x and y here by the coordinates of A, or you may replace x and y by the coordinates of B. In both cases, you will get the same result for the same value of W. Here I chose A. Uh, as A belongs to AB, then the coordinates of A satisfy the equation. This means that we, can, we may replace x by xA and y by yA to get at the end, the value of w, which is 7, hence, again, replacing w by 7 to get the standard, a standard equation of ab, which is minus 4x minus y plus 7 equal to 0. This is the first method. The second method is, is based on considering uh, any point m, general of general coordinates x, y, letting it on the straight line, a, b. As m, think about this. As m describes the straight line, as m moves on the straight line, what relation, what constant relation can we have from these three points as m moves on the straight line? Well, you may think about the vectors, in fact. 